Well, hello there, artist. This is my more anatomically correct, a little more scientifically drawn, roly-poly bug. Yes, it's a critter that you might find if you looked under a rock. Now, this roly-poly, you'll notice he is showing wonderful symmetry. It is the same on both sides. If we were to draw a line going right down the middle of our roly-poly, it is the same on both sides. It has symmetry. And if you look closely at a lot of bugs out there, pretty much all of them have beautiful symmetry. And if you want to get real fancy schmancy, we can call it bilateral symmetry. Bi means two. So if we split this right in half, we have two halves and they are the same on both sides. So that's a really cool thing that uh, actually makes it nice and easy for us artists to draw. So there's lots of bugs out there, kiddos. You should get out there and draw some. I'm going to show you how to draw this roly-poly here. We're going to need a blank sheet of paper, a pencil, and then I used my crayons to add color to my roly-poly. You can use whatever coloring tools you have at home. Crayons, markers, colored pencil, maybe even some watercolor. Totally up to you. All right, let's start out first with our pencils. My roly-poly is going to be tall and vertical. And I'm going to start at the top with his head. And the head is a funky little bean shape. I'm going to show you. Now, you want to make sure you leave room for the antenna at the top. So I'm going to start maybe one third of the way down. So I'm going to start right about here. And I'm going to make a curved line right in the middle at the topish area. And then I'm going to make another little curve just inside and below that one. And then I'm going to connect these two curves with another curved line. Curve and a curve. Next, I am going to take my pencil, find the middle, bring it down about the same spacing. See how it's going to be about the same? And I am going to make a curved line. It's a slight smile line right there. I don't want to go beyond the end of my head shape here. Now, we're going to make a line that goes from the middle of this side to here, but I'm going to add a little, little wobble to it. So I'm going to curve it down. It's not a straight line. It's a little curve. And then I go right below, right past the end of my line. And then I'm going to bring it back up. I'm going to do the same on this side. So starting about in the middle of the side, I'm going to do a slight curve just past my line. And then I'm going to bring it back up. Now, find the middle, bring it down. You can make a little mark if you want to. And then I'm going to make a, another curved line. And I'm going to do the same thing for this part of the body. What we're doing is adding the segments, the many small pieces of our roly polies. So I'm going to start right here at the bottom of that sharp little curve. I'm going to curve it out and bring it back in. Curve it out, bring it back in. And then I'm going to make another curve. And I'm going to do that same connecting weird little curve. So I'm going to curve it down and past that line. And then I'm going to curve it back up to connect. Curve it down and past that end line and then curve it back up. Do another segment. Curve, bring it up. Curve, bring it up. And now I'm making my roly-poly kind of tall and skinny. If you want to make your roly-poly really wide and chubby, do it. It would be super cute. That's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to, you could, you could make your roly-poly 
like super wide, big old roly poly. See that? So that's another option. Oh my gosh, you'd be like the biggest roly poly ever. Like Jabba the roly poly. All right, but I'm going to continue with this guy because I'm already going. That's just an option. All right, so I'm going to finish him up with one more segment here. I'm going to do my connecting curves here. And now I'm going to do the bottom of my bug. And that's just going to be a big smile curve. Boom. Just like that. Now, notice how I tried my best to make it symmetrical, the same on both sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the head and I'm going to add a curve line there. That's going to be one eye. I'm going to add another eyeball right there. And then I'm going to take this top middle and I'm going to do a little rounded rectangle. It's like kind of like the top of his mouth piece, if you want to call it a mouth piece. And then what I'm going to do is his antenna. Now, the bug antenna and the legs actually are also broken up into small parts, segments. Just like the body is made up of small parts, segments, the antenna and the legs are also. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little rounded rectangle right in between the eye and the mouthpiece. See that? It's about the same height as the mouthpiece. And then I'm going to make a smaller one right on top of it. Now I'm going to make a taller piece of his antenna. And I'm going to start curving my antenna out, but I'm still making small little segments. So I'm going to make this next rounded rectangle going a little diagonal. And then I'm going to do a really long one there. And then another little short one there. And maybe a little smaller one for the tip. Now here's the tricky part. Artists, we want our bugs to be symmetrical. So what you drew here, we're gonna draw over here. And that means you have to look at what you've already drawn. So I'm gonna look over here and on this side of my bug's head, I'm gonna draw about-ish, the same-ish rounded rectangle. And I'm gonna try to draw that about the same-ish, a little bit taller, smaller, skinnier, I should say, roundish rectangle. And then another longer rounded rectangle. And then a little diagonal longer one. And then this is that long one going out to the side. And then another one and then finish with a little rounded rectangle on the tip. So it's not perfectly symmetrical, but it's about the same, right? That's what we're shooting for. Now, legs. I am going to put a leg, well, there's gonna be long legs at the bottom, and then legs on each of these segments. So I'm gonna start right on this first segment, of his body and I'm gonna do a little rounded rectangle and then I'm gonna make a smaller one and that's his first leg and because bugs are symmetrical I'm gonna do the same thing on this side and then another leg for this segment and then one over here I'll add another one over here and another one over here some more segments now my legs are little and short just because most of his leg is tucked underneath and hidden underneath his body. If you want to have really long legs, go for it. Your roly-poly can look like that if you want. And then for my bottom legs, I'm going to do a shorter rounded rectangle. I'm going to add another little piece and then a small one for the tip of his leg. I'm going to do the same thing on this side to create that symmetry. Now, that is pretty much it. That is our roly-poly drawing. You'll notice when I added color to mine, my roly-poly is very well dressed because I chose on purpose 
three colors that are analogous. And I would love to challenge you artists to also choose analogous colors to color your roly polies. Now, analogous colors are colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel. So for my analogous colors, I chose blue, violet, and a red violet. Mm -hmm. Those colors are right next to each other on the color wheel. And analogous colors look really great when they're right next to each other. And when you use them in your artwork together, they look very pleasing to the eye. So I challenge you, pick some analogous colors. Maybe you want to do the same colors as I, blue, purple, and a red violet. Maybe you want to do a blue, green, and a yellow roly-poly. Or maybe you want a fiery roly-poly. You can do a red, a red, orange, and an orange, or a red, orange, and yellow. It's up to you, artists. Notice I added some little polka dots just for fun because that is the power we have as artists. We can be realistic if we want to, and then add our own little creative flair. All right, fantastic friends. I hope you enjoy your roly polies, and I can't wait to see your analogous colors.